both of these young ladies' lives. Um, we've seen a lot of athletes sign college scholarships for a variety of sports here. Uh, usually what you see uh, and gets a lot of attention is our football athletes, and deservedly so, they work hard. But so do these two young ladies, and so do all of our track athletes, okay? Uh, so um, both of these young ladies, uh, the last two years, worked extremely hard. Uh, they've both been working extremely hard uh, for the duration of, of their track careers, uh, both here and during the summer with Coach Callum. Uh, I want to say congratulations to both of them. Uh, and with track team, the track club, uh, is certainly going to miss both of them and all of our seniors. Okay? Um, Coach Callender, if you'd like to come up and say a couple of things. First of all, I want to congratulate you, young ladies. It's been a long road. First, more important, I'd like to congratulate your parents. You have to know to be successful, it has to start at home. I think these two young ladies are the epitome of the word student athlete. That's also the priority, folks. You don't be a student, you won't be an athlete at home. I have big families and giving me the opportunity to work with you guys. I think you guys have been around for six or seven years. It's about nine to ten months out of the year that they put up with us. And certainly it's most deserving, and I'm happy for them. I'll be watching from a distance. So congratulations, ladies. Good afternoon, everybody. <laughs> Thank you for everyone who came today. This was a long and hard journey for me. Some days I felt like quitting track, and some days I felt like pushing myself harder. But I'm glad I'm in the place that I am today. I started running track in the seventh grade, not knowing anything. Now I'm a state champion. First, I want to thank God for gracing me with my talents and allowing me to have an amazing support system. I would like to thank my mom and dad. They sacrificed so much of their time and energy into me and into track, and I appreciate that everything that y'all have done for me, and I love y'all for life. I want to thank my coaches for always helping me to become a better athlete. Lanika, thank you for helping me for the, through this past year. I want to give a special thanks to Coach Caliber and Coach Tarini. I've been around them for almost six years. They helped me all year round, and if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't have found Louisiana Express. And they helped me when I've been down, and they helped me throughout the year, and I'm glad for all the years that we spent together. I love y'all and I'll be so much. Different time, different time. <laughs> Kiara, we had our ups and downs, but I wouldn't want to be signed with anybody else. You're an amazing athlete, and I hope you have a successful career. Last, I want to thank my team. They're most, they're most, the, they're the most supportive group of people that I ever met, and I think of y'all as my brothers and sisters, and I miss, I miss all of y'all so much. <laughs> Without further ado, I am proud to know that I will be brother my, <laughs> my track career at Disney State University. <laughs> coaches, trainers, and parents in the audience for all of your support. I would like to thank my parents for always being there from the first time I took my hand string to the fans. Getting into training with the best people and trying to help me get the strength back in my own league. Special thanks to my daddy for standing by my side even though we had disagreement every other day. He made me want to quit track at least three out of the five days. I would like to thank Coach Canada because without him I wouldn't be here today. I've been training with him since I was 10 years old. I started off in St. Gabriel with him and I'm ending my high school career with him. I would like to thank Coach Whit for going out of his way to make sure that everyone on the team had what they needed. Some say that playing a sport is about winning at all costs. We play sports because we knew that this is what we love to do. We put in the work and the time because that's what we wanted to do and that's what it teaches you to give it to all. It's the feeling of knowing we are giving everything that we could. Not only does that apply to an athletic sense, but it applies to the real world too. 
the perseverance and determination that we all learn is going to stay with us all of our lives. It's all about our friends and the relationships that we form. Everyone will grow and evolve, but it's our constant bonds that will stay with us. If you never play sports, you wouldn't know the feeling of having to get a running start to be able to get on the bed because of the first week of, uh, week of conditioning. When I think back on all of the memories I have from running track, I would rather have lost than to never have ran. Losses can be heartbreaking because we think about what could have been, but we kept competing. I never want to give up how track has affected my life. Winning is great, but there is a lot to going on from a loss. It's been a great four years, and I pray that Kayla and I have great success in our futures in Y'all in our future in Diva. For those of you who have more time to compete, I want you to remember why you do it. Compete for yourself and your teammates, and make sure that you cherish everyone loving. Thank you. Thanks for your time. <laughs> Look up, Kim.